Wainwright will be 38 exactly a month from tonight. His record is 7 and 7. His ERA is 4.63. And as he put it this week, right now, I am exactly average, which is true statistically, but not here in this ballpark. He's their second baseman tonight, and he's down on strikes. With Wainwright's curveball, it reminds me of Carpenter when the two of them were together. They both could throw that curveball anytime they wanted. What a weapon behind in the count, and obviously, what a great pitch ahead in the count. Which brings up Chris Bryant, who swings on the first pitch, grounds it to Paul DeYoung, and the Cubs go in order in the first. Hugh Darvish finishing his warm ups. He's managed the decision in only a third of his 21 starts. Kind of hard to believe. He's 3 and 4. This is his 22nd start of the season. Well, he hasn't pitched deep into many games, but he's been pitching much better. And when he gets two strikes on you, he's awfully tough. He doesn't give up a lot of hit. And he strikes Edmund out. Right down the pipe for a call strike three. Second strike out of the frame for Darvish. Each team goes one, two, three in the first. Anthony Rizzo on pace for yet another 30 homer, 100 RBI season. And a call third strike. Rizzo turns away. Second strikeout for Wainwright. Three. And Caratini strikes out for the third strikeout for Wainwright, who set down the first six Cubs. Been famous for 3 2 counts. They're hitting 060 on this count. 060 are hitters hitting on this count. 3 2 strikeouts and 26 walks. And that trend continues. That's his third strikeout. Weeders has done damage at the plate. Strikeout number four for Darvish. Tip back into Caratini's glove. And it's the fifth strikeout for Darvish. Here's a shot to right off the bat of Jason Hayward. It one hops the wall. Fielded well by Martinez, who guns it back to the middle of the diamond and holds him to a single. And another 1 2 pitch. Another curveball. It's rolled down to Goldschmidt. Wainwright covers. There's the second out. Hayward to third. Hobby grounded a short. His first time up. A soft line drive into left, and it falls in front of O'Neill. And the Cubs have the game's first run. Well, this one caught a little bit too much of the strike zone. Talked about a bad ball hitting Javier Baez. He's been outstanding with runners in scoring position this year. And he knows he's going to be aggressive. So as a pitcher, you're just trying to throw the best bad ball breaking ball. And that one caught the plate. It wasn't a horrible pitch. But he was trying to get it off the plate to expand the zone because he had a couple bases open. But Baez took advantage of it. First and third, nobody out. Darvish definitely now all in for the K. He swings and misses. It goes to the backstop. Goldschmidt takes second. Martinez holds third. Wong had a single his first time up. And this one gets away. Martinez will come to the plate. And he'll score to tie the game as Goldschmidt moves up to third. Wilson Contreras is in the dugout. And perhaps Darvish and Caratini are not on the same page. Darvish ain't playing. He's going for the K ball. And there it is. His eighth. Check on Edmund. And another 2 2 pitch. Edmund takes off for third, and he can slow up. Fowler strikes out. Through five, Darvish has fanned nine, and he hasn't walked anybody. Full count, Hayward at first has stolen six bases in seven attempts this year. And Adam's not afraid to throw any, a breaking ball behind him on you know, any count. So, 3 2 count, he's going to go to his pitch. He really believes he's got the best chance to get soft contact or swing and a miss. He takes off. Swing and a miss. Here's the throw. It's in the dirt. Fielded nicely by Wong on one hop, and he tags Hayward out for a strikeout throw. You will not get a better strikeout throw for two players. For my, you got to see these two picks. But watch this curveball. It's 50 foot. He picks it like a first baseman throws, then picks on the other end. Wong gets the same pick, and I'm just telling you. Yeah, that's sensational on both ends. They're not going to tempt fate twice. They point to first. Baez takes his base, and it's up to Caratini. Inside, walks him on four pitches, and the bases are loaded. Schwarber with a fly ball to left. It sends O'Neill back. It won't make the track, and the Cubs will leave three. Goldschmidt fly to left his first time. Goldschmidt launches one to deep left. This may snap the tie. It's in the bullpen, and the Cardinals have the lead. Well, he homered in six straight. Missed one on Sunday. Now it's seven out of eight. And 25 for the year. Well, Goldschmidt, one of the best fastball hitters, especially, I told you, middle part of the plate in. He's not going to miss too many of them. 
Really got to get him to hit away. And they were trying to get in off the plate. No, sir. If they're going to do it, at least with the, this hitter, they're going to have to do it the hard way. He's been the toughest out tonight for the Cubs. Three for four. All three hits singles. A bouncing ball toward Wong. The Cardinals take game one of the series. And in ten games this year, between the Cardinals and the Cubs, the home team has won every game.